Hello, I'm Michael Riga. This is Broadside of a Barn Precision. It's been a little bit of time since we posted anything on the Facebook page. I've been really busy trying to get our new workshop finished, especially since we're now we're shooting with three shooters with Sean, Noah, and myself. And we've just been spending a lot of time trying to get the, uh, the workshop finished. But like I guess I figured we'd kind of do a little video here for you. Um, one thing I've really encountered recently with the reloading is that uh, We've been going through case lube a lot. You know, we've been using the RCBS, just that's originally what came with our reloading equipment. And it's what I've been really able to find locally here in Georgia. But uh, I recently came upon a YouTube video where seeing some people make their own case lube and I became really interested in this. Um, it's using a uh, liquid lanolin oil, which is uh, apparently from reading about it, it's something from dried sheep sweat or something in their wool, but it's supposedly really good for your hands. So it's not really toxic. And uh, we're using it as essentially a, a, a spirit, per se, a suspension spirit with a very high concentrated isopropyl alcohol. We're using 91%. I haven't really been able to find 99, which would have been optimal because the uh, other ingredient in this is water. So the additional 9% is uh, just a sterile water in here. And um, we've also got just a cheap spray bottle from Home Depot. Um, looking on the internet, we've kind of came across several different recipes, and uh, kind of the largest percentage of people, what they've been, their concentration has been one ounce for every 12. So, using some of the wonderful paramedic and EMS math here, and I'll show you a picture of kind of how we broke down our uh, math and how we do it. But uh, we decided we're going to do a total of 16 ounce bottles. We're going to do two of them, so we have 32. So, for the 32 ounces, of alcohol, we're going to need 2.66 ounces of the uh, liquid lanolin. Um, that's part of the joys of being on round ambulances and medical equipment. We have some of the syringes that list ounces as well, and a 14 gauge IV catheter where it's going to be big enough to hopefully pull some of this liquid lanolin up. Um, it was very thick when I bought it, so I've been letting it sit for about 20 minutes in some warm water, and it's really kind of thinned out some, so to say. So uh, we're going to mix it up and kind of see how it is. Um, we're not going to be able to try it today because I'm at work and uh, just trying to get the video done as I've been really looking through this and doing the math. But uh, hopefully, and as soon as we get the workshop done and in there, we'll hopefully be in there by the end of the weekend to at least being able to load some more. So hopefully we'll find out how well it works. But uh, we're going to go ahead and already mix this up and see how it turns out. So, and the goal is not to make a mess either doing this. Now, I've seen on YouTube several different guys, uh, liquid lanolin is supposed to be so good that you can actually sit there and run the same piece of brass into the same die, you know, four or five times without the case getting stuck. So, that's kind of what sold me on that. And the fact is, for this little bottle right here, it was $10. And seeing about how much lubricant will make and how little, you know, in general you're kind of using, you know, seeing where people, you know, reporting doing or 5,000 cases and only using you know four ounces of the big spray bottle so kind of the goal here is is the joys of public safety budget is to try and get the most of our dollar here All right, there's our 32 ounces of isopropyl alcohol All right, let's dry this off yeah, see, it's, we'll see, it kind of, it kind of, it's kind of hard to see, but it's a little bit more viscous than before. All right, we're going to confirm, Joy's kind of some EMS stuff here, you always kind of follow all the rights to make sure you dose everything up correctly, so we're going to make sure it's, confirm what it is, it's 2.66 ounces, so let's open this up.
Now the liquid lanolin, um, it was I had to find it at a health food store, and it kind of went to a, a new age style yoga place, and kind of looked at me funny when I walked in. But uh, once I explained it to them, they were actually very intrigued by it. So I was not expecting that reaction initially from the people there, but I was rather impressed and very happy with them. Yes, it's very thick to draw up. This is like half right there. Alright, where are we at? Almost one. Okay, so there's one ounce. This is kind of where, if you have access to some of these supplies, it makes it a little bit less messy. In front of the public safety people, it's got about the same wonderful resistance as uh, D50, which is a uh, sugar medication for diabetics. and. Uh, it's very hard to draw up. And it's very similar to this. Our next ounce. Oh, we've run into a bit of a hiccup here. Dry our bottle off. We got spilled a little bit there. Good thing about the alcohol is it does evaporate very quickly, and kind of the the reason we're using it for the cases so that we have something to essentially aerosolize this, but then in turn also. Uh, oops, missed the spot. Right. Trying to that liquid landling got on the outside of it. Apparently what you do is you're going to have to shake it up very well. See if it yeah, it actually feels exactly like the uh, RCBS lube. It smells very much like it. Yeah, but it likes to separate rather quick, and that's just because of the water. Because that liquid lanolin is a uh, 
a liquid, but it's also a crystallized solid as well, so it wants to separate in that water. But just give it a good shake with the video, what the guys on the videos were doing, and pair all the recipes, and you know, it comes up with this kind of funky little bit of yellow color, and then you're good to go. And I uh, want to thank you all for taking the time to watch this video, and uh, hopefully you'll check us out and subscribe to our YouTube channel and like our Facebook page. And uh, thank you for checking out Broadside of a Barn Precision. Let's go. Come on over to my place.